Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use NGRocco WhatsApp webhook testing and debugging. So when it comes to the testing and debugging, analyzing the logs is a very crucial thing. So if you see all of my previous tutorial regarding the WhatsApp webhook, I use Heroku for the testing and debugging. So a lot of you guys requested me to see some alternatives other than the Heroku because if you see the pricing model of the Heroku, to work with the basic plan we need to pay $5 per month. So that's why there is one option called uh, NGROC. So those who don't know about NGROC, easy tool to test that uh, APIs and webhook. So first uh, you can see like this is the pricing model for the NGROC. So it's a free plan. To work with the NGROC first you need to go to that uh, NGROC.com and uh, sign up to this one. So once you sign up like under the getting started option you can see setup and installation and here like they have mentioned the commands to install this one in the window so if you are using a Mac you can uh, see this is installation for homebrew right ngrock slash ngrock slash ngrock I don't like to scroll down because like uh, the second step we need to set up the auth key so anyhow like this is a setup guys like once we complete the installation then we need to add the ngrock then add token so this token is unique for everyone once it's completed so I'm going to that my project so this is my node.js project guys so I just create a terminal here so I just type ls okay I just clear this one okay so in that script you guys see dev and start right so this is for the development purpose I use nodeman and uh, starting i use uh, anyhow like uh, i'm using the build for tsc this is for compiling all of my typescript code into the javascript so i'm going to start this server in the development mode right so i just type sudo npm run dev right so this is uh, npm run and dev for this uh, script right to start this script but in my PC, I am having some configuration issue, that's why I type sudo. So in your case, you no need to type this one. I just hit enter. So I am typing sudo, that's what is asking my password. Okay, so currently this server is running, right? So my mongoose is connected, so I connected mongodb. And uh, now what I am going to do is, I just split this terminal. In here, I need to type this command, ngrock http, then that uh, port to here my server is running in the local host uh, 3000 so i am going to the local host 3000 so you can see follow setup here this is local host i need a hosted environment so that's why i use the ngrock so here i want to type http then http slash localhost colon 3000 to stop this one i need to press the control and c right to quit this so here you guys see there's option called forwarding url right so this is the actual url for our project in the uh, cloud environment the internet environment right so i just click this one so i'm going to open this one you can see uh, there's something is uh, popping like right? because uh, you are about to visit this one right so this is from the ng rock so i just click visit site you can see follow setup this is a global environment so if you if you send this uh, to your friend he or she can able to view this one in their pc because this is globally hosted but remember like each and every time this address will change so you have to make sure while running this one right so so i just copy this one and now i am going to that uh, cloud api and i just click edit and this is my path so here webhook uh, if you watch my previous video about the webhook you know about this uh, use case send verify token so i just type my verify token and i just click verify and serve so once i click verify and serve in the logs so i am getting one 200 so once you verify this one you need to subscribe for the follow send message right one is follows another one is a message so recently i made one whatsapp follow project for my client and if you like to hire me for any of the whatsapp api or whatsapp follows project integration or development you can contact me check out that about page and click the linkedin url so i'm going to send one message in that whatsapp api to that number let's see how it works so you guys see like i'm getting the logs here without going to that uh, heroku we can debug in uh, our local uh, machines so i hope you guys you understand this logic and make sure like each and every time this url will change and that's all guys and if you like this channel please make sure to subscribe and this is the only help i am requesting from you guys and thank you so much